guys today we are in Poznan in our showroom and we'd like to show you uh, a new model of the automatic rock cleaning machine model solution ASV3000 so what are we gonna show you today uh, main, uh, main technical descriptions uh, some uh, technical characteristics of the machine what it is what is new uh, some uh, construction details uh, we'd, uh, we'd like to compare these two models, I mean this new one and uh, the model economic ASV3000 for you to see the difference, uh, how it works, we'll also show you uh, how we use the machine, uh, what specific features it, uh, this machine has and we'll clean some rugs, so it's gonna be fun. So the main, uh, the main difference between two models, the first one, that this machine is very simple, this is the main idea of this machine actually, <coughs> and the first difference is that this machine is mobile, you can move it, even one person can move it, this machine in the place you need, you can bring it in, clean the rocks and bring it back to the place where it has to stay, and it is absolutely mobile. It is ready for work. The only thing you need just to switch on the water, connect the water and connect the electricity. As for the electricity, we need three phase, 380 volts, uh, 16 amperes. That's it. If you switch the electricity, the power, you switch the water, connect the water and this machine is absolutely ready for work. Even on these transport wheels, this is the idea to have it ready for work, stand on the wheels and move it back in the place you need after you finish the work. As for the <coughs> machine economic ASV3000, the main difference is that this machine has to be stable, stand on a rubber blocks, as you can see, and except the water and power, you also need to have uh, air compressor connected here because the, uh, the section of, uh, with the uh, brushes is moving uh, with the help of the compressed air. Here in this model, new model, you don't need any compressor because uh, the, the brushes are moving with the help of the electricity. I'll show it uh, to you a little bit later. So these are main differences right now at the moment. So as I already told, this machine was made with the idea to, to occupy the minimum space in a rock shop. That's why uh, this machine was made with such a characteristics. Uh, it is very narrow, it has only 1 meter 23 centimeters. As for the length, it is mm, about 3.5 meters and it is very light, it's only 560 kilos weight and what is important here, uh, all the details, main constructions, main body uh, they are hot tip calvinized but uh, <coughs> these uh, moving shafts, bearings, all these elements here are uh, from stainless steel it is very important uh, a few words about control panel, it is very simple when we press the start button, we have uh, simultaneously switched on several functions of the machine. The first one is table, it starts to, to, to move. Then we have the disc brushes and they start to rotate. And we have a water supply at the same moment. What we can do next? We can stop the machine. We can raise or we can put down the brushes just to make the pressure on the rack for better cleaning. We have uh, adjustment of the speed of the table and we can change the direction of the, of the table, forward and back. Th this is the main switch and <coughs> this one is very important and very interesting. Uh, we can close the valve, so to say, and direct the volume, all the volume of the water in front of the machine, to the front part of it in order to make a pre-washing to wash the carpet in a proper way or we can change it we can close it and we can direct all the water in the back part of the machine 
uh, where we have the rinsing module, okay? Or we can <coughs> put it in the middle and divide the volume of the water in front of the machine directly to the front of the machine to make a better pre-washing and uh, a half of the volume direct to the uh, back part to the rinsing module. So this is the idea. You can adjust and regulate by yourself according to your needs, okay? Okay, what we have here? We have the main uh, emergency switch. Uh, as you can see, we have only three brushes, not like in the model economic or the model tornado, where we have four brushes. Here in this model, we have three of them. Uh, three engines, three brushes. Right now, by default, uh, we send the machine to the customer with a set of uh, soft brushes. Uh, this machine can also work with the hard brushes as well. Uh, you can just uh, add to your other uh, additional set of hard brushes. You need like five, from five to seven minutes to, ch to change them. And what we have also, we can, uh, the possibility to adjust the working width uh, of the machine. What I mean, if you have a narrow, uh, a narrow carpet, a narrow rug, you can put it in the middle and you adjust the working width according to your needs. Or if you have a very wide uh, carpet rug, you can adjust the working width of the machine. Okay, so in, in, in such a way, you save money, you save water, you save uh, detergents, you save electricity, and the section doesn't need to go from one side to another side, just according to the need. Uh, right now, we are in the back side of the machine, and what we have here, this one is emergency switch. This one is the main switch. When you press it, uh, all the machine is stopped. The table stops, uh, the brushes stops to rotate, stop to rotate, and the water supply uh, is also switched off. Uh, here in this part of the machine, we have rinsing module. Uh, the rinsing is provided with the help of the special pump, uh, which makes pressure 10 bars and we have four water dispensers uh, as you may see in the video so this all what we have here in the back side of the machine okay. i want to show you one thing which is very important while uh, first start of the machine when you uh, come in the morning and you want to start you're going to start the, to use the machine you need to check the direction of the rotation of the brushes okay right now they are rotating in the wrong way. So right now we have such a situation. All of them, are these two brushes, this one and this one, they are rotating inside, okay? It's not okay. They have to rotate in other direction. How to, how to fix it? How to change it? It is very simple. You take out the plug and you can change the face. Right now, it's gonna work in the in the right way. Okay, guys, practical part of our video. We're gonna clean this particular rug with the help of this automatic rug cleaning machine, a new model, using our detergent, which is called Emolux. It is rather a universal detergent. It is dedicated to all types of rugs and carpets. Uh, it is very quality detergent. We're going to present the work of it right now. What is important? Uh, we recommend to make a pre-washing of rugs and carpets in the wash tub Tornado MP3000. Uh, we can we can pour here 300 liters of water, and we need to understand that we need to add one liter of this detergent to every 100 liters of water in the wash tub. So if we have 100 liters of water, we need to add only one liter of detergent here. And uh, it is already prepared uh, water with detergent for cleaning of these kind of rugs. Uh, this is very important. Uh, it helps us to save uh, detergents, water, and our money. Because if we make a pre-washing in this wash tub, we can make sim pre of uh, simultaneously of uh, three, four, five uh, rugs at the same, at one time, according, uh, I mean, uh, depending on the size of the carpets, okay? And after it, we don't need to use any detergent afterwards. 
uh, while cleaning uh, the rack in the cleaning machine. Okay, so let's let's see how it's gonna work. Okay, guys. So right now it's important to put uh, to put the rack in the right in the right direction in order to have have it afterwards very easily. Uh, put it on the, on the machine. Okay, so right now we can make a free washing.
Okay, guys, right now we're gonna uh, we're gonna see a dry dry carpet, dry rack directly using the machine. Uh, it is also possible in case you, you don't you don't like the wash tub or you think for some reasons that it's not effective. We can clean uh, dry carpets as well, no problem. Uh, the question is how to uh, how to dispense the detergent on it. Uh, there are several ways, different ways. Uh, someone uses special dispensers or whatever. We recommend using this watering can for flowers and gardens. It is very simple. You just uh, add 200 milliliters uh, of, uh, of the detergent. In our case, it's Emilux. And uh, the rest of it, you fill with the water. It makes 10 liters uh, of special prepared uh, prepared uh, detergent and it, it's going to be enough for three four carpets for you and we're going to dispense the detergent during the cleaning uh, right now i'm going to show to you how it's going to look like and uh, what i would like to draw your attention to is uh, and i would recommend to use the implant uh, transport trolley uh, to move already uh, rolled up uh, heavy and uh, heavy rock from from the machine to the centrifuge. Uh, it is very convenient, it is comfortable, you don't need to pull it, you don't need to move it, to shift it, you just uh, bring it there to the centrifuge and uh, easily put it inside with the centrifuge. So it is very effective and I strongly recommend it to you. Please uh, save your health, it is, it is very important and pay attention to it. So right now we're gonna, uh, we're gonna clean this uh, dry carpet, okay? So let's start. Uh, what is important uh, when you clean the dry carpets directly in the machine, as I told you previously, we have the function to shift, to, to divide the, uh, the water supply, the volume of the water from this, from this uh, pre-washing section to rinsing section. So right now, when we have dry carpet, we need to, to make it work in such a way that we have the maximum water here to have, uh, to have the carpet washed in a proper way and then we can switch it in the middle to have the water divided half here and far half in the back of the machine uh, in the rinsing module and what is important also here we have the mm, uh, function we can uh, change the direction of the transport table and uh, what why it is important in case you see that there is some stain which is left on the carpet and you'd like to clean it once again you don't need to wait uh, up to the very end when the, the carpet is rolled in the back of the machine. You just need to change the direction of the table and it would be uh, moved back. In such case, it will be cleaned uh, once again and when it is rolled here in the front of the machine, you can switch it back and it's gonna move up to the back of the machine. So it's gonna be cleaned once twice and mm, third time so it's very easy you don't need to bring it physically from back side from the machine to the front part of the machine okay you just need to change the direction of the table that's it
Okay, guys, thank you for watching us. I hope you liked our presentation. If you have any questions, please write in, your, in the comments or directly to my email address or WhatsApp, whatever. Uh, I'm here for you. And uh, thanks once again. Have a nice day. And I'm going to put the carpet into the centrifuge to have it dry. And uh, see you soon in our next videos. Bye-bye.